Hello everyone, welcome to Groups Master. This is APPSC Group 1 Mains Revision Series Science and Technology. In this video, we will topic 9.0 that is issues related to IPR in the field of science and technology discussion. This is our official website groupsmaster.com. Please visit this website for further updates and information. IPR may be a question of the within the IPR introduced to introduction about you. Intellectual property rights are legal protections granted to creators, inventors, and owners of original works such as patents, trademarks, and copyrights in order to prevent others from using or profiting from their creations without permission. This is introduced to IPR. Let us see some of the key issues related to IPR in the field of science and technology. First one is patent laws. Patent laws are one of the primary forms of IPR protection for inventions in the field of science and technology. However, there are concerns that patent laws may be overly restrictive leading to monopolies and limiting the spread of innovations. These are the some of the concerns related to patent laws. Next one is copyright laws. Copyright, copyright laws provide protection for original works of authorship including scientific papers, software code, other digital media. But however, there are debates about extent of copyright protection particular in the context of digital media and open access to scientific information. These are the some of the issues related to copyright laws. Trade secrets. Next one is trade secrets. Trade secrets are confidential information that provides competitive advantage to a company or an individual. In science and technology, trade secrets are often used to protect proprietary information related to research and development. However, there are concerns that trade secret laws may be overly restrictive and limit the sharing of information collaboration between researchers. Next issue is open access to scientific information. There is growing movement in the scientific community for open access to scientific information, particularly research publications. Open access promotes the free flow of scientific knowledge and may lead to faster innovation and discovery. However, there are concerns about the impact of open access on the business models of traditional scientific publishers. Next one is international harmonization of IPR laws. There is a need for harmonization of IPR laws across different countries, particularly in the context of international trade and global innovation. However, there are challenges in achieving this given the differences in legal systems and cultural attitudes towards IPR in different countries. Next one is conflicting interests. In some cases, interests of the inventor and the funding agency and the public may not align. For example, when a publicly funded research patents their invention, the public may not be, may not benefit from the research as the patent holder may charge higher prices for the product. Next one is lack of transparency. In some cases, it may be difficult to determine who holds the rights to a particular invention or discovery, making it difficult to obtain permission to use it or to determine who should be held liable for the infringement. Next issue is conflict with the traditional knowledge. Patents are granted for novel and non-obvious inventions, but traditional knowledge may not be considered as novel and non-obvious as it's been known for centuries. This can lead to conflict when traditional knowledge is used in the development of new products. Next issue is access to essential medicines. Higher prices for patented drugs can make them unaffordable, unaffordable for, the main, for many people in developing countries leading to concerns about access to essential medicines. These are some of the key issues related to intellectual property rights in the field of science and technology. Chala simple information on the provide jargindi. You can write this information when question is asked in the examination. We are concluding this video here. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you really like this video, please do subscribe to Groups Master YouTube channel.